Hello, everybody. This is Julie D from Nordonia Hills Debt News, and welcome to Jabbering with Julie. Hello, hello. Recording on a Sunday this time, um, February 5th, 2023. My, how the year is going. And it's getting lighter. Uh, or it's staying lighter longer. Like at 530, it's light. Boy, I really can't talk this morning. You guys are in trouble. I can't talk. So yeah, like 530 yesterday, it was still light out. So the days are getting longer, sun, more sunshine. We have that to look forward to. And every day it gets better and better. And every day we get closer to warmer weather. And spring, which by the way, I know you didn't ask, but spring is my favorite season, followed by fall. Winter is too cold and summer's too hot. That's my personal opinion about the seasons. And thank you for the season's forecast, Julie D. Okay, so I have super duper exciting news. Um, and some of you are going to be like, oh. <laughs> and some of you are like, who cares? But anyways, I will save that for later. Um, for now, let's talk about parties. So grand opening this past week at Optima Dermatology. They are located um, just west of Route 8 um, in the Crossings Plaza. They're in between Culver's and Chipotle. So that is, um, they're open now. You know, and they had a location on A2, and um, so now they've moved everything over. They had a very small place over there by Mr. Hero, and now they're in a big, beautiful facility. Um, they had the open house the other day, and I did put up a video walkthrough. I can um, put a link in the description so you can see that. There was lots of people there. It was a great, great um, community event. And um, oh, and then the Chamber of Commerce did their ribbon cutting thing. I have a picture of that as well. Oops, see, you can't really see anything. This is better because I was, I'm in the way. So this way, I have another view here, so I'm not in the way. But anyways, um, this is gonna be a wonderful benefit to the community. They, you know, it's not just the aesthetic stuff, but they also help with if you have skin cancer or eczema, um, you know, all kinds of issues. Maybe you have like a mole that's dark and you're worried about it. They can check you over and um, there's just a lot. And then, you know, they have some aesthetic things there as well. I mean, if I had, if I got work done there, I would probably be like a patient for life. <laughs> Always something new. Although I feel like I'm that way with the dentist at this point. Um, so anyways, that was one party. Uh, you know, some people say grand opening, I say party. But anyways, um, the parties I attend more are more um, during the day, not at night. Um, so a grand opening that we have to look forward to is February 6th. So that is that is coming up. That is tomorrow because I'm recording this on the 5th, but hopefully you won't see this too late, but you can actually go there anytime. Onyx is having a grand opening and um, they're going to have, so it's from five to seven and they're gonna have raffles and they're gonna have uh, the first hundred people to, to join as, in, as a member, um, they, you can win prizes. So you have, you have to go and see all the different things that are going on tomorrow. That's one of the reasons why I want to get this show out today. So people can, you know, I know I've been talking about this uh, open house for a couple weeks now, but um, not everybody watches every show. And I know that I do have a sneak peek of their new, because actually for Onyx, it's a re-grand opening. And look, I snagged this from their Facebook page. Don't tell them. But this is their new look. Um, they're still um when this picture was taken, they're still doing their fine tuning, but isn't it be look at the floor. The floor is beautiful. So I can't wait to go there tomorrow and check it out. Maybe I will see you there. And you could be like, hi Julie D. Um <laughs> saw somebody in Walmart the other day. Aren't you that 
jabbering. They couldn't think of the Julie part, but I appreciate the sentiment. It was really nice to see my fans, my little fans. <laughs> what else we have new? Um, still waiting to hear from Ground Zero. And you know, the funny thing is the last show I did, I said, oh, you know, the construction projects are just kind of like tucking in for the winter. And then um, the very next day I drove by and I saw a ton of people working on Panda Express. And um, a ton of people were also working on the Nordonia Dental Group as well. So I guess people are working, you know, all winter. (laughs) For me, I would be like, see when the weather gets nicer. Um, But yeah, it was a very, very cold day and there were still workers out there. So I appreciate what they're doing to try to get open as soon as possible. What else is new? Um, Oh, well, speaking of businesses, let let me see here if I have any other pictures to show you. Um, I want to have something nice behind me to here. Let's just do this generic picture. All right, so the um, businesses in town need exposure lots of different ways. And people are always searching on the internet to find local businesses. It's just something that we do every day. Well, we would like to help businesses get found easier. So our website, NordoniHills.News, is an authoritative website. It's been out there a long time. We update it every day. Google loves it, loves us. So, and we have had in the past a business directory on our website, but um, it was canned software that we couldn't change, we couldn't make better, we couldn't improve upon. And um, so we canned the canned software. Bye, see you later. And we are in the process of creating a custom business directory for this area. So residents can go on there and search for a business. Um, we are we are even going to have an option where you can leave a review for a business and businesses will be, you know, found easier on the Internet. So if someone goes to search for something and the business is on our directory, who knows, our directory might even show up. Uh, in the search engines above their website. So anyways, look forward to that. I'm hoping to announce it um, being done for my next show next week, um, fingers crossed. Um, but you know, we're, we're having a programmer work on it. Um, it's custom and so um, custom things take time, but you're gonna love it and you're gonna use it and I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna come. no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Boy, I am really feisty today. Bye, Steve. All right. Um, so my other um exciting news. I mean it's like exciting news on top of exciting news. Um Nordon Hills Dent News is always trying to improve and get better. And some have you of you have if you've watched the show previously, know we were looking for a sports writer. I mean, we know what we're trying, we know the areas that we need to improve upon, but sometimes finding the right people. To improve on these areas is the challenge. Well, we are excited to announce that we are working with Emily Zwiget, and we actually worked with her in high school. When not when I went to high school, there wasn't even internet back then. Not kidding. Um, when Emily was a Nordonia high school student, she did um, some video work with us. Um, I remember specifically she was interviewing some of the spring coaches on the upcoming season. It was on video camera. So um, I remember that. So she did some work with us when she was in high school. She is now attending Baldwin Wallace for sports management. And she has reached out to us and she actually did her her first article for us um, this past week. And I think she's submitting another one today. Might even be in my inbox as I speak. Um, But anyways, this will work really well with her studies and um can work hand in hand also she just announced that she is going to be an intern for the rubber ducks in akron so we'll be getting some more behind the scenes stuff for akron rubber ducks we don't really have much information about them but i have a feeling that's about to change 
So anyways, uh, we welcome Emily and we look forward to seeing a lot of her writing and um, she's going to be a wonderful addition and just what we needed, just what we needed. All right, so let's see, I'm ticking off the list here of the things I need to tell you about, so I guess there's just one more thing to tell you. Nordonia Hills that News is going to have its very own office space. Yes, yes, we're moving out of the home. <laughs> I mean, I have an office here at home, um, but we're finally getting a space out in public. I won't tell you where yet because it's not finalized, um, but it's in the heart of Nordonia Hills. <laughs> so, um, and I know I have a picture of the uh, proposed car wash behind me, but it's not there. <laughs> That's not a hint. <laughs> I just want to have a local picture for my backdrop. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. Um, so yeah, it's um, going to be a, an area where we're going to have a video studio in case we're doing some videos. I'll probably be recording my, sh my show there. And um, we have a conference room where we can have social media classes. I've off, often wondered or wanted to have social media classes, small groups. Um, that way we can give you one-on-one -on -one help because I mean, I could have eight businesses in there and how each business should do social media is different than the other. Um, but it also can be like a mastermind class or maybe we'll have two. Um, I would love to have a mastermind class so we can other businesses can help each other like one per category and bring the problems and struggles to the table, literally. Um, so there's a, so much more we wanna do and we were limited by not having a physical location. Um, also, we're upping our SEO services to businesses and some of our um, other digital services. It's just more of all the good stuff. Um, and, you know, we have a really good programmer too. So if a business in town needs some custom programming, um, you know, we'll be utilizing the company's services for two, for, I just can't even talk. I should just stop talking. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the big news. Um, Nordonia Health News is taking it to the next level and getting a physical location in the heart of town. Um, you know, other news organizations in the area seem to be um, I don't want to say not doing as well, but struggling and um we're expanding our services and making things better and better for us i think it's a, a perfect storm and it's been ongoing i mean we've just keep trying more things and adding more things and working to be our best for you this is all for you this is all for you so we hope you enjoy us and stick with us as we grow to the next level and i guess we'll probably be having an open house of our own <laughs> this year um it'll definitely be we probably won't even be in there until the end of march and it's going to take a while to get things organized because you know we're busy doing all this stuff so we're gonna have to find time to do that um but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be cool you're gonna like it and then we are um gonna be um putting on an event in may for health and well well like a, it's a may is mental health month so we're going to be hosting an event you'll have to wait and find out where hosting an event in the area for um we'll have a couple of speakers on mental health so um it's really important to us to help people that are dealing with mental health and you know i really think that that things have heightened since 2020 um we've always had i don't know i kind of feel like just about everybody needs a little help um, because things are not the same as they used to be. And um, it's a big problem and affects everybody. So look for that. There's just so much going on. Anyways, I've jabbered on long enough. It was nice talking with you today and I will see you soon. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.